hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima so this is the part two of the series dealing with exam anxiety if you've not seen the part one please go and see it so you'd understand everything i've said i've mentioned the signs and symptoms of exam anxiety the causes of exam anxiety and how to deal with exam anxiety so this is just a continuation if you've watched the part one let's continue another thing is to make conscious deep breath whenever i feel so anxious I, I, I close my eye and whisper to myself, Jemima, breathe. Jemima, breathe. I, I, I close my eye and tell myself to breathe in and breathe out. It helps. Just close your eye, breathe in, breathe out. Take deep breaths. It's going to help you, trust me. Another thing is that if it gets that bad, like if it's really bad that it's taking away your peace, you're finding yourself really depressed, then you may really have to get therapy. You need to get professional help sign in for therapy if you can there's better help there's nguvu health you can check for them on instagram get professional help if need be please another point i would like to let you know is if you're feeling really anxious about any exam you can talk to somebody about it talk to your friend or talk to your mom or talk to anybody that you can talk to about it the person could actually walk you through if it's your seniors the person can tell you, okay, this is this, this is where you should do, or this is what you should do. Talking to someone about whatever it is that you are going through, it, it goes a long way. Especially when it's the right person, please, don't talk to just anybody. Let it be the right person. Let it be someone that can actually help you, someone that can walk you through the exam, uh, exam anxiety. Remember when I said one of the symptoms of exam anxiety is when you have a cloudy mind, you can't think straight. And when you're not thinking things through at that moment, you need someone to make you understand that this thing that you this exam that you're even worrying yourself about it, it, it may not be that bad there are times in your life that you need someone to really spell things out logically for you you may be afraid oh god i need 50 i need 50 but yet you don't know that your continuous assessment is already a 20 something and all you need to climb to get the to up to 50 will just be 20 something over 70. it it, it happens but yet you'll be thinking, oh, I, I failed just because you didn't read, study a particular topic or study, your, your mind just blows things out of proportion. That is where your friends come in or that is when your whoever it is that you trust comes in. That is where your seniors come in. That is where your colleagues come in. They help you to stay level-headed. I'd like to add that even though you do not have someone that you can talk to, then you need to make conscious efforts to think things true logically you need to make conscious effort to write down whatever it is that's causing you to be anxious about the exam and then logically list the topics that you've not studied and logically now i'm talking about bringing in logic now emotionally you may be anxious but you need to consciously be level-headed if you do not have someone else that can do it for you note the score that you need to pass and work towards it logically when you do things like that it's definitely going to help you to stay level-headed because sometimes being anxious just makes you cloudy and you're not able to think things through and just makes you to blow things out of proportion think the, the problem is so big meanwhile it's just a tiny thing that can be sorted out in no time and last but not the least i will always mention the holy spirit anytime i feel so anxious i just close my eye and ask the holy spirit to help me in case you've not seen my video on how to develop a relationship with the holy spirit i'll put the link up for you once you're beginning to feel anxious for any upcoming exam just talk to him about it and peace that surpasses human understanding will come upon you if there's anything at all that i've forgotten to add to this video while editing it i'm going to add it let me go jemima bye